tell us a little bit about the you know your one of your biggest bets which is air india and we know that you know the government itself was quite happy to have it handed over finally to the tatas because many earlier failed uh, attempts uh, for later they finally uh, finally managed to give it uh, to the tatas how did that thought come about and what were the challenges you faced along the way and then i'll ask you about the way forward for that challenges in what being what in, in terms of the acquisition itself see the acquisition is basically we uh, there were a few prerequisites from our point of view so we uh, once the bid process started once we knew that government is going to divest 100% and then the government was going to restructure the balance sheet then we felt comfortable because we knew there will be challenges and there are lots of challenges because um we have to fix a lot of things mm. but the good thing is 1 billion people want air india to succeed mm. <laughs> everyone in this country is rooting for air india you can't have a better tailwind than that okay mm. there is a mail every day mm. why one mail there are multiple mails every day There's somebody wanting to work for air india somebody giving me advice somebody <laughs> telling me that i had a great flight i know the flight was bad but i can see the improvement in on uh, on time arrival and customer service and also people taking whatsapp messages how bad the interior is how the seat didn't work how something was dirty so i get about 4 5 miles on air india mails every day some in whatsapp some in um, email and you act on them yeah act on them and you know so i'll respond and mm-hmm. i'll where we can act we'll act otherwise we'll tell them to be patient give us time um <laughs> but um, the transformation is happening on hr we are completely revamping the mm-hmm. technology we put the best team mm-hmm. and we will uh, we are revamping engineering ground handling entire fleet will get changed we have made mm-hmm. one of the biggest yes. orders yes. it's a very very bold bet mm-hmm. and while the flights are coming we are already leasing more aircrafts mm-hmm. so we want actually we can fly pretty much to any destination in the world that's the kind of infrastructure we're putting in place we need to still work with our aim is to give a product which every indian is proud of give a service which i don't want a second run which is better than anything else that exists but we need time because it 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 is very hard to repair an aircraft is very hard to get a slot in an mro is very hard and we have we don't have aircrafts yes if a, if you send a aircraft to a city and it it gets grounded we don't have a spare aircraft so we have reduced the number of flights we were flying before we took over to now and the traffic is humongous now traffic is humongous mm. and we get requests why can't you fly to atlanta why can't you fly to detroit why mm. can't you, why can't you fly mm. to seattle i think we can fly from multiple cities if you connect bangalore to west coast multiple cities in west coast i even say why why is san francisco you can even fly to san jose this flight will go full there is so much demand and you can fly from bangalore to seattle hyderabad to seattle delhi to seattle and similarly uh, every european city there is so much demand but we just don't have infrastructure and we need also the airports we need the lounges the aviation minister on, will be with us yes this yes i know jyotir knows jyotir knows <laughs> so <laughs> we are working with everybody but it's going to take time it's going to take time we are accelerating i hope that we can um, start to show the semblance of the new new air india you said it would be pretty time. much a broad new look would be ready by the end of the year that's yeah but plan. still we need the scale hmm.